already know what type of day it is. It's your girl Chelsea Sophia. And today I'm doing a makeup tutorial. Yes, yes, yes. Let me tell you something. I have no excuse on why I've been MIA lately. Literally, my last video that I did my um, favorite playlist, like my lip playlist, my current favorite songs, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Yo, I just been lazy. Literally, I've been home majority of the time ever since. I had a job, then I had to quit because it was inconvenient for me, literally. Like, I'll maybe I'll explain, like, the job that I was doing and how you should not get into it. Like, you know, the pros and cons of it. But either way, I'm back and better. I'm more motivated to do videos. Literally, after this one, I'm going to film another one. Yes, yes, yes. But for this video, we're doing this nice, sultry type of summer look. Sweat proof. Woman color friendly. Drugstore. Yes. All the combinations in one. <laughs> okay, let's just get on with the tutorial. Let's see how all of this came together and whatnot. <laughs> all right all right all right so of course i already do one eye off camera you already know how the thing go and let's just grab this bad boy this wet and wild color i call the eyeshadow palette in the palette rose in the air it's like the dupe for the model renaissance ah, these nails so for my transition well it's not really my transition, but to start off, I'm using this orange color. It's kind of like Wergar from the Bodersant palette. Bodersant. Wow. Modern Renaissance. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to use my K18 brush from Carabi. These brushes have arrived with me so strong. And it's only been like a year that I've had these brushes, but you know, they're really good and really. Oh my gosh, I have it primed. Wow, this is what I get for being MIA for no reason. Like, I just been lazy filming videos. Trust me, <laughs> I just been lazy. So, let's just prime real quick and then we'll start with the eyeshadow. Wow. So, of course, you want to use Patty Motions if using the no setting your concealer with translucent powder technique i always start with the outer corner and then drag my brush with patting motions through my crease and that's how i get a better color payoff a better consistency and the eyeshadow just looks effortless seamless and blended and then i'm grabbing this uh transition color um i'm getting like raw, raw sienna vibes from this color or just like sienna uh because there's, there's a difference for raw sienna and sienna i don't know like I'm, I'm i don't remember if sienna is darker than raw sienna but either way i'm going to put this right on top of the orange color and i'm going to use my k17 brush from car beauty the traditional blending brush then I'm grabbing this um I think this is like Rogar right this red brown shade I don't know someone help me no it's like Venetian red yes it's like Venetian red um I'm gonna apply that like more to my outer corner just a little bit into my crease i'm gonna use the same k18 brush that i used for the first shade and then lastly but certainly not least i'm gonna use this um brown color um it's a little it's a little lighter than like cypress umber in my opinion but it will still do the job i don't want to go too dark for like a brown color so you know i need know i'm just gonna put it at the outer most outer corner with my k33 my favorite 
dome type of crease brush like it's so so pretty and i'm gonna slightly drag it to my crease just to give that definement when applying the lid shadow for my lid shade i'm grabbing this nice gold type of shade it's like um is it primavera i'm not sure or tempera either one so i got the palette to remember the names um, I'm gonna grab that shade from the Wet n Wild palette and I'm jumping into my Cara ES08 as shadow palette and grabbing this bronzy gold shade and mixing it all up and giving my eyes something. I'm just, what am I talking about? Wow, someone help me. Alrighty, grabbing my K33 brush and the Rergar dupe shade and I'm just going to blend my lid shade with the outer corner just giving that effect I love doing this with like my first transition color or a lighter shade it's just like it just makes the look all right all right all right so literally for lashes tell me how I just randomly got these lashes in the mail like i think it was like two days ago it was random absolutely random um i don't know where it came from it came from china i don't know who sent it to me but either way they are very nice as you can see on my my eye they're very pretty and i'm about to apply these lashes on they're very simple in my opinion like they're not too dramatic but still give a nice flare at the out of corner and it's just great but this look i love to apply it don't at me thank you <laughs> all right these lashes are pretty i'm gonna do my one eyebrow off camera of course and we can start with the face yes all right for primer yes we are going to use our wet and wild photo focus matte primer is the same former as the regular um just low focus face primer in the white packaging and then set what, what? <laughs> and of course i do my powder before foundation so i'm just grabbing a little bit of my maybelline fit me finishing powder and i dab it with my beauty blender on my t-zone area it's essential to do this in the summertime if you have oily or even oily combination skin. If you just tend to get oily in certain areas on your face, this really helps. Now I'm jumping into foundation. I'm using my Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. Yeah. <laughs> in the shade 360 Mocha. I love to use this as like an everyday foundation, for, especially for the summertime because it keeps me matte but not dry. And I don't look dry when wearing this foundation. Um, it's perfect because like, and it gives me the coverage that I need. And when using this foundation, I like to use this concealer. I'm using my Maybelline Instant Age Real Wine concealer in the shade tan so to blend out my concealer i use this flat foundation brush i don't use a beauty blender i haven't been using a beauty blender nowadays because sometimes it picks up my foundation or concealer i don't know why maybe it's like how i'm blending it out or whatever it is but like this has been working for me and i really like the coverage that it gives all right all right so to set my concealer yes we are using the maybelline fit me loose finishing powder in the shade medium 25. after doing all of that and now i look ghostly as hell I'm going to be using my Faces Cosmetics Dual Powder in the shade NWD00608 to set my whole face. And it's going to bring 
all the color back together, okay? All right, back to the eyes. I'm going to use my Rhaegar shade, <laughs> the beautiful orange, and I'm going to use that same K18 brush if I can find it. And then to smudge my waterline, I'm just going to use the Venetian red color right here. You already know. And for mascara, I'm using my Maybelline. Oh my god, why do I always say that? It's L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. Wow. Just, Chris, shut up. Stop! The, back, the uh, microwave is freaking on, and then you're still singing your awful voice. Bye. Bye with your noisy ass. Now back to the face. I'm using my NYX Hydro Touch Powder Foundation in the shade Deep Espresso to bronze up the face. Yes, yes, yes. For blush, of course, I'm using my Malibu, no, Milani Big Blush in the shade Pink. No, don't say pink. Okay, the thing is right in front of me. Like, look at this, okay? It's literally right in front of me. But I, 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 I just don't know why I keep on messing up today. Like, but let's just apply it. <laughs> right, and lastly, but not least, well, Second lastly, we still how to do the lips, of course. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Palette in the Highlighting Powder. <laughs> in the uh, Highlighter Flower, Golden Flower Crown. Okay, I, I'm canceled. Exit this makeup tutorial. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, before we do our lips, we gotta set our face. Milani, make it last. <laughs> the shooter is something else, but I love this anyways, right? I'm gonna start off with this uh, crayon. No, I'm joking, <laughs> it's not crayon. It is um, the Sephora lip liner in the shade deep brown it is literally comes off like a red brown but it's perfect for the lip combo that i want to do so i like to then i grabbed in my elf lipstick in the shade blushing not blushing um ravishing ravishing rose and i apply it all over and then the these two glosses is what makes the look pop like let me tell you something i like to use this jones new york literally the writing is off completely off um it came in a set of five of these lip glosses i got it uh, from tj maxx i'm not sure if they still sell it um i got it on the website i'm not sure if they still sell it on the stores or on the website but i like to use this it has like a red um undertone and then to put in the center to give it a nice glittery effect i use i like to use this uh cover girl lip lava in the color colorlicious i believe um i'm not sure but either way this lip combo is fire like this is my favorite one run away when you see me in this lip combo okay because I be stunting on I love you. <laughs> but yeah, we are basically done. Like, wow. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a big, 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 big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow all my social medias so that will be down in the description. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but either way, anyways, you already know what type of day it is. It's your girl Chelsea Fia. Peace.